conscious decisions around where you invest your money, um, what types of products you purchase, what types of transportation you use. And I guess also the whole, how do you talk to other people and maybe encourage them to purchase differently? Only buying what you need. Always sourcing that secondhand um, if you possibly can. If you can't source it secondhand, sourcing it in a way that it's been made ethically. So using sustainable materials, um, fair trade, all of those things. I would draw waste into it, um, excessive waste, and just about maintaining what we can without damaging our environment. Um, My mum says, oh, you're a hippie. And it, it winds me up because I think, what are you talking about? Like, do you even know what you mean when you say that? Like, you're just sort of, I, I completely understand why people are looking for that new identity. And I, I think that the way we tell stories about who we are uh, and, and how we consume and how we interact with the world, uh, it, it it is moving on and it, need, it needs to move on. You know, the way we see ourselves in relation to stuff and the people who make that stuff and everything is, is a bit um, out of kilter. I think some friends of mine have definitely started seeing that as a, a cornerstone of my identity, which I'm not gonna lie, makes me kind of proud. Today, I needed a new shampoo, right? So I went for the hard shampoo bar because I'm trying out which ones work best <laughs> versus just going with the conventional type or you know, going with a bamboo toothbrush versus going with a standard plastic one. And those are like small things, but they, they add up, right? I think I mentioned the, the water bottle um, or it could be walking somewhere rather than taking the car or taking the train rather than flying. We switched to washable toilet wipes. That was the first thing. We'd already been using like washable makeup pads and stuff for a while. Not that I wear makeup, but my girls do. Um, yeah, just lots of little changes. What I've started to do now is actually send, where possible, I've, I send the packaging back to the company with a note basically saying, you know, do better. It doesn't need all of this packaging. Um, so we don't, we don't fly, we don't own a car um uh we don't eat meat or dairy we keep chickens so we do eat eggs from them um yeah as i said i try pretty hard not to buy anything new and um, if we do have to buy something new um uh, i try and uh, sort of research and, and choose something that balances up <laughs> those factors as far as possible mm -hmm. So that's definitely flying, right? Just because I think I already mentioned it's difficult because I live in a different country from most of my friends and my family. Um, and even though within Europe, it could be potentially replaced by taking the train, but then it's time and cost that factor into that. Um, and then my other half of the family is in the US. So that would be impossible unless I'm taking like a, a boat for like a week. Um, so I think there's there's something around that. And also just that like want to see the world. I think there's almost like a little bit of a paradox there. Um, overall, I'd say it's, I find, I find the, the time that everything takes to be very, very, very challenging. Um, I, I, it, it takes a tremendous amount of time to do all the little bits and bobs like going to the refill shop getting all your bags and things ready making everything from scratch so i'm not buying things in packaging for the kids packed lunch and, and that sort of thing a big big challenge for me i remember especially when i started and even still now is um the icons that you know brand, like 
companies and brands use on, on their packaging um, is very misleading to, to people. So they see uh, the icon of say, you know, the circular arrows and they think, oh, this is recyclable. I can put it out, but it actually doesn't mean it's recyclable. It means that it's got partially recycled material within it. We, we run, um, my, my organization, we run like um, a kind of skills workshops in Cardiff around things like repair and bike maintenance and fixing your clothes, keeping chickens, growing veg. Um, we run this like wasteless series, wasteless kitchen and wasteless bathroom about kind of just, um, yeah, reducing waste. Uh, we've been doing that for years and years, eight years. Um, and we've just got to know loads of really lovely people in the city who um, are on the same page and are always looking for kind of, well, what's the next thing I can do? What's where can where can I use my energy where it's going to have the greatest impact? Um, so having that kind of network is really nice. Typically, we also went to sustainability events. So just I don't know, there was something called like Planet B um, or a couple of other organizations where you have interesting talks. Um, and yeah, so we would go there together or it's like a zero waste Christmas fair or something that might be on. So I think they're definitely like events related to sustainability or that topic that I definitely think we would, we would bond over, yeah. You know, it's not the end consumer that's having to constantly take responsibility for the waste um, for there to be whether whether it's sort of incentives for companies that do take responsibility for for their processes and their packaging or whether it's kind of you know charging the ones that don't I don't know which way is which way works better but um, things like deposit return schemes which seem to be taking forever to be brought in like we, we just have so little that uh, that requires brands to to take to take that on it's just out it goes out of our doors and then you get lots of individuals faffing over their recycling bins and worrying about tech attacks and all these sorts of things. Um, whereas that responsibility, I think, should should be shifted significantly onto producers. That would make things much easier for people across different kind of income levels, um, people with different amounts of time on their hands to make um, more sustainable choices. I think what concerns me is that it's left to the consumer mm -hmm. to do all the work. And it shouldn't be for me to send back packaging to you know, each company and say, do better. 